a push from state lawmakers today to mandate cameras in the classrooms. Josie Carbonari joining us live with the pushback locally on this proposal and details on how the cameras would be used. Josie? Yeah, Tiffany, so if the bill was passed, board members would have to, from each school district, they would have to vote on whether or not to implement this policy. Now, we did speak with some uh, school unions and school representatives, and they are not on board with the move. It's a solution looking for a problem. Florida House Bill 1055, raising some eyebrows on the education front. Behind the bill, Republican lawmaker Bob Rommel proposing cameras at the front of the classroom, requiring teachers in session to be mic'd up. It's nonsense. Like many others, David Freeland, president of the Education Association of St. Lucie County, is opposed to the idea. We have a, a growing teacher shortage. Uh, really, they should be focusing on, on getting teachers in classrooms with uh, meaningful pay, um, job security, those kinds of things, and instead they choose to spend their time working on a, a, a bill that's completely unnecessary. The new bill, which is making its way through the Florida legislature, explaining the policy would be used to record a potential incident defined as abuse or neglect of a student by an employee, teacher, or student. The bill states only the principal of the school would have access to the footage. However, if an incident were to happen, the parent of the student involved would get to watch once student faces are blurred. Staff members potentially involved get to see the footage too, as well as police and the Department of Children and Families if there's an investigation. An intrusion on the work we do every day, I think it has a chilling effect on the relationships that we build with our students. Now, House Bill 1055 still has to pass several committees before being considered by the full House. Reporting from West Palm Beach, I'm Josie Carbonari, WPBF 25 News. Jo